Firstly, I want to say a huge thank you for this award. It's truly an honor to receive it and to take this opportunity to acknowledge and recognize the immense collaboration and expertise of the teams I work with, both at the IDB, as well as with our government and private sector counterparts. As a team leader, I work hard with the teams, both in the IDB and in country, in our counterparts, to get investments to a bankable state, ensuring the right technical and economic requirements, as well as environmental and social safeguards. I want to be part of the energy projects that are cleaner, that are, have less CO2 emissions, that lower cost to households and businesses, and investments that withstand storms and floods. And because we're in the fourth industrial revolution, where connectivity, data, and automation is critical, I try to ensure in the designer projects that we incorporate modern digital systems that will eventually enable more interaction with customers. And speaking about customers, I really want to ensure that investments don't discriminate. They must provide access to all parts of the population, providing new skills and jobs, especially for women and marginalized groups. We really need to strengthen regional cooperation on resilience. You know, given our small economies and the supply constraints, the Caribbean needs to act as a group to enhance scale and tap into global value chains.